हेलो स्टूडेंट्स गुड टाइम टू ऑल आई एम चंदन कुमार प्रधान वेलकम टू यूट्यूब चैनल चंदन फिजिक्स इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस पैरिटी चेकर लेट्स बिगेन द लिटरल मीनिंग ऑफ पैरिटी दैट इज द स्टेट ऑफ इक्वल स्टेटस इन हिंदी वी कॉल इट एज समानता when we are dealing with the word parity in physics it indicates the symmetric property of physical quantities and again in mathematics the word parity refers either that number is even or odd in this session we deal with in binary terms in binary terms it is classified as even parity or odd parity odd parity and even parity what is odd parity binary terms the binary bits as 1 or 0 if the sum of the binary bits in a word is odd the word is set to possesses parity similarly if the sum of the binary bits in a word is even the word is set to possesses even parity odd parity and even parity if the sum of the binary bits in that of word is odd then that word is said to possesses odd parity in other words if the sum of the binary bits in a word is even then that word is said to be even parity that is odd parity that one is even parity example let me say example let a uh, we consider a number as uh, in binary code it will be 1 1 the sum will be here the sum sum as 1 1 Plus zero, plus zero. It is equal to two. Two is the even number. Even. Therefore, 
the parity is the parity is even parity even parity and in parity checker it will show zero similarly for the code 1 1 0 1 here the sum of the binary bits as 1 1 0 plus 1 it will be 3 3 that is odd number the parity is odd parity therefore it is said to be odd parity when we check it when we check it by using parity checker it will show for odd that will be show 1 the question arises what is parity checker so parity checker that is uh, one kind of circuit the circuit that checks the parity of words is called parity checker called a parity checker that circuit which checks the parity of that given word is said to be parity checker let an example of a circuit which check the parity basically x or get and uh, x nor get are used to check the parity in that of case we choose x or get first code as 1100 let 1 1 0 let two inputs to that of x or get for x or get when two inputs are one one then the output obviously zero as we have already discussed in x or get again we use the x or get as a two inputs zero 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 zero, so the output will be zero. Again, you will get zero zero. Therefore, the output we have zero. That is y is equal to zero. As we say, when we obtain zero, then it will be show for that of even parity. That is even 
parity. In this way, we check that word in terms of binary code as 1100, which is the even parity and it is shown as 0. That I write it according to the definition of parity. If the sum of that binary bit is even, it will be show even parity and in parity checker, we show it as even parity. Next word, as the code 1101, 1, 1, 0, 1, we use XR get to the inputs. When the inputs are 1, 1, at output we have 0, again that will be the input for the XR get 0, 0, as output we have 0, again the input as 0, 1. And output we have one for one in parity checker it will be show one that is said to be as odd parity we obtain odd parity in this way with the help of parity checker we show either that one is odd parity or even parity here we use xr get as parity checker so why parity checker is helpful to us what are the basic uses of parity checker Basically, parity checking is the most basic form of error detection in communications. and it is used it uses parity bits to check that it means the parity checking it means the parity checking parity checking parity bits to check that the data has been transmitted accurately or not and that parity bit the parity bit is added to every data every data units that are transmitted Typically, the data unit as you show that uh, may be 7 or 8 bits. And 
and here the parity bit for each unit is set is set so that all bytes have either an odd or an even number of that particular set bits in this way the parity checker is helpful to us so with the help of this video lecture we understand what is parity checker as odd parity and even parity example parity checker an example by using xr get as parity checker if the output will be zero it will be the condition for even parity and uh, if it is one then it is condition for odd parity various uses of parity checking why parity checking is necessary for us so with this useful and informative notes let me wind up this session thank you